Okay, guys, thanks for coming in. Late last week, I received a letter from the Internal Revenue Service outlining concerns they have regarding the 5013C application I submitted for the Second Hole Foundation, specifically in the areas of administrative costs, entertainment expenses, and proposed executive compensation. So to address these concerns head on, I have decided to appoint an independent, nonpartisan board of directors for the foundation that will not only provide me with strategic counsel, but will also serve as a layer of transparency, accountability, and plausible deniability. Leading this board as chairman will be Mr. Daryl Bevins. Not only does Daryl bring with him over 10 years of real golf world experience as a course marshal, but he's also someone who has literally walked the halls of Congress and therefore has an understanding of how Washington works. The board's vice chairman will be Carl Brubaker, which was really a no-brainer for us. Carl's combat experience in Grenada, coupled with his 2008 degree from Trump University, brings a unique blend of smarts and toughness to the board that will be needed in order to keep our financial house in order. And finally, I'd like to welcome Miguel Vega to the board as our only non-voting member. Not only is Miguel a well-respected member of the turf industry, but he also checks a big minority box for us, which makes him the perfect fall guy for when this foundation inevitably faces a federal audit. In closing, for those of you out there who might be saying, hey, I love what the Second Hole Foundation stands for and I love their mission, but I want to make sure my hard-earned dollars go where they can make the biggest impact. Hopefully, the formation of this board will put your mind at ease. Okay? Thanks, guys.